is 22. They have yet to win away from home. They did beat this San Jose team earlier this year, 2-1. There's a strike from on high, and that one is just nudged aside by John Bush. Sango had an idea there, didn't he? he? He did. He tried to sneak it in that near post past John Bush, but like we alluded to earlier, John Bush, when he's called upon, tried to backfill it for Romero Corrales. Sango, he beats Cronin, now up on Bernardez, and a chance. Here's a drive that is into the back of the net. A goal scored. And Sango has help. Bernardez trying to catch up. DK missing from point blank range. Wow. Ho -ho. And here's Portland's last chance. And Kelly, everyone was holding their breath. Well, normally it's the Quakes that end up stealing that late one. And I tell you, Bright DK had an incredible chance to put that one up. But do you see who's making the tag with a wall there? You'll cheat a little bit on the other side of the goal, but he's right in the middle. Four in the wall. Sunga calls it. It's palmed over. It's still in play. Big save for Nick Romando. Take a look at the free kick. Well, look at Nick Romando. He's right there to make this play. The ball comes over the wall. And if Songo starts that outside the post, that's curling towards that top corner. Watch Nick Romando. He almost goes past it. Good free kick, but great save from Nick Romando. Getting into the Dewsbury. Space here for Romney Wallace. They're getting some purchase down the left-hand side at the moment, the Portland Timbers. Songo inside, on the right foot. Drive is a good one, and Spurling makes the save. He couldn't catch it, he punched it clear, and it's turned behind. No nonsense from Leo Gonzalez for a corner kick. Although we watched them do this in practice yesterday without any defenders for an hour, and this is exactly how they practiced it. Coming in wide, diagonal ball, he gets space, and that is a terrific score. Portland Timbers and the Rose City Reds, Colorado. It's at the discretion of referee Hire Marufo, and David Horst intercepts the pass, and he'll go for a jump forward. Continuous run, Horst being urged back now as the through ball comes for Darlington Nagby, and it's just wide. Weighted ball in behind, Darlington Nagby times his run perfectly. He recognizes that Matt Pickens is coming out strong. That's one, Nagby pass two, forced wide. Song of the first time effort right to Ken in the near post. Well, he's coming back to something like his best form, Frank Songo. Only one thing in his mind here to work, the goalkeeper. Again, Nagby breaks from midfield. Just make sure he gets a good connection on this, Songo. Doesn't try to overhit the ball. Works Joe Cannon in goal. Scare and Horse both come forward. Again to Marin Horse getting it one other. Songo on frame and it's through! And the Timbers have retaken the lead! Well, it's a night when the informed players are delivering for the Timbers. This time it's Frank Songo. I have to say, we'll go down, there's a goalkeeping error. Joe Cannon must do better with this. But the ball bounces in front of him, he doesn't get his hands to it. He's had an uncomfortable night all evening, but credit Songo, gets the ball on target, makes the keeper make a save. And that's sometimes what can happen. It's taken away by Zizo. Sal Zizo out wide, can Songo get there? Has the speed to catch up to it. Frank Songo, Portland on the attack again. Tries to cut around late. Songo looks for a lane. Off the left foot, puts it into space. Zizo, played ahead, look out, Nagbe! And it's in! Inexplicably, the Timbers, looking for their first win on the road, lead 2-0 at Red Bull Arena. You have to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Roy Miller again, caught out of position.
position for the entire first half. Gives the ball away, and now Portland back on the counter. Connor Wade gets schooled. That ball's pushed out wide. Zizo with the perfect little entree pass. Wow. An absolute clinic by Portland. And if you're Hans Baca, you, you've got to be scratching your head saying, what am I going to do with these guys? That's just good ball movement, good running off the ball. Happens to go forward and get another goal or two in this game. Songo got by Soli, plays it into space, chance here, not bad! We saw an outstanding save by Donovan Ricketts at the other end of the field. And this is why Bill Gordet is in goal for New York Red Bulls. He's done it since he's got to this club. And again, he makes the big save at a moment where they really... Back live at Jill Field, Portland Timbers, Aston Villa, the English Premier League. And everyone forward. Right in front of Timbers Army all this afternoon. Drives it in near post, a good flick in front, it's in! Sebastian Ricon bundling in Ryan Kawhi. Songo left corner of the box. Trying to friendly high, lovely touch to get away, cross from the left, no one there on the back post. Head to the top of the box, Wallace trying to hit it first time, swing and a miss in the first. Second chance for Wallace, takes a deflection, oh! Songo approaches, a little hesitation, scores! Rolls it bottom left, setting his hand the wrong way. One of four games in stoppage time as Sango gets away. Falls for Eric Alexander. Alexander cutting back to his right. Alexander off the post. Salinas scrambles it out. Right, Sango have had opportunities. This is it. Alexander Johnson we saw. Dipped inside on his right foot. The angle slide. Arthur keeps it in. Working on Sango. Sango doing well, back in the Timbers break, here's Alexander, Mwanga on his bike in front of him, back wide for Frank Songo. The whole cavalry coming behind him, Songo in towards Mwanga, and the Timbers on Danny Mwanga's first goal back in Portland have the lead. No part surprise that Frank Songo's involved. He's been the best player on the court so far. But I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic run from Danny Moanga. Watch his timing. In he goes now, just across the line of the defender. He has to get this right. It's a perfect time. Songo in. All kinds of traffic. It's saved off the line. Was that Horster boy? Footy sends it back in. Bingham falls on it. Place to San Jose front line. First the Songo free kick in towards Footy, and he forces it free, it's in from Jillsbury, and it's 2-0 Portland Timbers! Well it's all about Footy keeping his eye on the ball, be determined to go in there. And the young goalkeeper, well, he doesn't come out with any conviction. And how often do we see the referee blow the whistle? Moro Rosales leading out. Seattle Sounders FC in their cyan uniforms. And Jack Jewsbury leading out the Portland Timbers. Clive Charles, who has been so important to the sport of soccer. What a moment here at Jeld Went Field. So the fans uh, fueling it uh, through the banner, worst case. You see Clive Charles there must have really touched your heart. Oh, definitely. Clive, really, you know, my mentor, my coach at University of Portland, and just one of the best people I ever knew in my life. He was quoted on the radio as saying he would score two goals here tonight. Portland off the corner, off the crossbar. A clear header is missed by David Horst. You will not get a better chance than this. Oh, what a missed opportunity for the Portland Timbers. How wide open 
Horst is, kind of muscles off Jeff Park a little bit. And you just think that's the Portland Timbers. They are 1-0 up in this game. And it's not for the width of the crossbar that saved Seattle on that occasion. Diego Chara on the ball now has represented Colombia in World Cup qualifying matches. A constant in midfield for John Spencer. Smith replacing Chabala at left back here tonight. Smith trying to join in. We'll curl it in. Wide open. It's Chris Boyd. It is one old Portland. And Frank Songo feeds Stephen Smith for the overlap. It's a fantastic cross. But how does Chris Boyd get so wide open in the middle? And the simple tap. Timbers off the corner. They swing it into the six. Horse. It's 2-0. David Horst. Portland is pouring it out in the air. Well, David Horst should have scored on the previous corner where he hit the crossbar. No mistake this time. Heads it down. Skips in between Kasky on the post and Weber. And the Portland Timbers double their lead. And the Timbers Army goes crazy. Ironically, Portland has had trouble scoring goals in the air, even with Chris Boyd around. And today they Songo again drives it in. John Baptiste has scored. Nodding in the corner kick from Frank Songo, 71st minute. Timbers. We're ready to go. Portland Timbers and Valencia club to football. Center back who was tracking through Ruiz. Valencia sold to Bill out of the back, though, as Davy steps in, takes a minute pass. Songo left corner of the box. His left foot a shot, takes a deflection, just wide left. It's going to be a corner kick for the Timbers. Their second of the night. Switch to the right for Miguel. No, intercepted by Alisson off the chest. Trying to spring Songo on the counterattack as they have the speed to get by Parejo in the midfield. They're shoulder to shoulder as they're running. And now Songo left edge of the box. Still on the ball. Plays for Perlaza. Cuts to his right foot. Force backwards. Turn, shoots, saved. Diego Alves. We played the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Strong hit. Adam Mitchell. Showing his versatility, just being able to track back. I mean, he's 85 minutes into the game. He still has enough juice to be able to get over there and cover. Jewsbury puts a lot of air under him. Boy, it's the target. Joseph attacked it, got it clear. Long touch. Oh, look at that shot beaten away by Reese. It was Songo really lacing that. It's going to be a corner again. What a hit. That was a rip that he took from distance there. And that thing's 25 yards away. Matt gets, he's obviously in a good spot, gets a good read on it. Just playing it smart. I'm not going to catch this ball. I'm just going to push it away. 